वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सिद्धार्थ मेहन वर्किंग एज ए एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी आई एस एफ कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्ट टू ऑफ आर प्रीवियसली डिस्कस अबाउट दी टू स्टडी द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ वेरियस ड्रग्स ऑन आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉड हग प्रिपरेशन इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज पार्ट वन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट हाउ टू माउंट ए हर्ट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द सोल्यूशन वट आर द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप एंड वट आर द रिस्पॉन्स सो वन बाय वन वी विल स्टडी एंड वी विल सी दैट हाउ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ ड्रग्स अफेक्ट्स ऑन द ड्रग For basic information, you can follow the our YouTube link where we already discuss about the DRC, bioassay, PA2 value, and all experimental setup of student organ bath assembly. These are the surgical preparations that you need to follow. The glassware preparations before start the experiment ensure that you have prepared and you have managed the all type of preparations. related to glassware equipment apparatus chemicals these are the chemicals that we will form the frog ringer solution and the software that i am going to present is x farm software so let's start with this experiment first we will confirm the normal response of isolated and perfused frog heart you can see that the heart is mount and attach with a starling heart lever and this lever is attached on a chymograph drum this red color line is the lever and this white box is your chymograph paper the chymograph speed is 0.25 mm per second so what we start so first you need we need to understand about the time cycle what is time cycle a particular sequence of activity repeated in a specific time span while recording response of isolated tissue so this is the experiment where i will demonstrate about the normal heart rate systole and diastole without addition of any drug or any chemical so let's start first from the heart rate when we click on the heart rate you can see this is a normal heart rate that is recorded on a drum and the heart rate with this frog heart is the number of heart beats means one systole and one diastole per minute please be remember students number of heart beats which means one systole and one diastole systole means contraction of heart diastole means relaxation in heart per minute and that is 65 beats per minute here you can see this is the normal heart rate if there is systole now if i click on a systole you will get the response that is contraction of heart if we diastole diastole means relaxation of heart and if it is going up this is systole if it is coming down that is diastole so this is a normal response that is recorded on this system so let's start with the simple drugs if we start with the help of adrenaline so here we will check the effects of adrenaline and acetylcholine on isolated and perfused frog heart students please be remember isolated and perfused these are two different words isolated means we isolate the heart from the frog and then perfused with the frog ringer solution continue supply of a 
physiological salt solution on a frog heart so time cycle is required for each dose we record the normal response for 30 second please be remember don't rush when you do this experiment i am again repeating for each dose record the normal response for 30 second Re record the response to a drug for 30 second and then repeat this cycle throughout the experiment so this is about the time cycle 30 second normal response 60 second drug response now what is the dosing schedule in dosing schedule the first thing to be remember take response of minimum dose first minimum dose always try to add minimum dose in that particular perfused tissue second is take response of doses in increasing order like graded response 0.1 0.2 0.3 like this do not add another dose if earlier dose is still active first take the complete 60 second response and then add the another dose <clears throat> so first this is a 30 second baseline you can see the timer here the 30 second normal response we select the acetylcholine drug we know acetylcholine is a parasympathomimetic drug which act on m2 receptor now what is m2 receptor it is g protein couple receptor now what is the subtype of g protein couple receptor it is gi g inhibitor now let's start the experiment select the acetylcholine and add a minimum dose first so when you add the acetylcholine now what is the dose response curve the dose response curve is for 60 second so you can see here with the addition of acetylcholine the contraction the force of contraction and the rate of contractions both are reduced so acetylcholine is a vasodilator now take a normal response normal response for 30 second now we will select the next dose of acetylcholine first we add the 0.1 ml now students i am going to add 0.2 ml i am just increasing the dose just double the dose so in 0.2 ml you can see a larger a deep vasodilation it means when you are increasing the dose you will get a very very vasodilatory effect of acetylcholine it means acetylcholine is not about not decreasing the rate of contraction it is also decreasing the force of contraction now take the baseline normal for 30 second and when you add again next dose that is 0.3 ml now after addition of 0.3 ml you will get a extreme decline of pressure as well as the rate so this is the beat per minute after addition of 0.2 ml of acetylcholine but if you see when you increase the dose 0.2 to 0.3 the beats per minute is 40 it means acetylcholine affects the rate and the force so let's start continue with the dose now we increase the dose 0.3 to 0.8 ml of acetylcholine now select 0.8 ml dose when you select 0.8 ml dose now you will shock that there is a steeper straight line of that acetylcholine response it means the pressure is completely down the force of contraction is completely slow down so this is a very serious condition of a 
patient so this is about the vasodilatory the effect of acetylcholine now next we will select the our next drug that is adrenaline adrenaline is a sympathomimetic agent it acts on adrenergic receptors there are two category of adrenergic receptors one is alpha receptor and the second is beta receptor after taking the 30 second response i will select this adrenaline and i will add 0.1 ml of adrenaline so you can see when you add the adrenaline there is little bit rise in the response and the beat is coming 75 beats per minute then take 30 second baseline after taking 30 second baseline you will see that i am going to add another i am going to double the dose of adrenaline that is 0.2 ml when i double the dose the response is also doubled you can see these lines that is coming on chymograph paper are more than high as previous dose so the heart beat is raised from 75 beats per minute to 77 beats per minute now take again normal response after taking the 30 second normal response i am going to add the next dose of point 3 ml after addition of 0.3 ml you can see the contractility you can see the length of this response see there is a height you can see this is the normal height but this is the height that you observe while addition of adrenaline and you can see when you increasing the dose the beat in that particular heart is raised from 77 beats to 90 beats per minute because adrenaline acts on beta 1 as well as on beta 2 but in this case only heart is there so adrenaline is at attaching and binding on beta 1 receptor take 30 second baseline and this is the last dose of adrenaline that is 0.8 this is just double of that 0.3 ml and what you get you get a straight immediate response of adrenaline now you can see first it increase beta 1 when it is down due to beta 2 because beta 2 receptors are g stimulatory weak receptor so this is known as triphasic response triphasic but in this frog heart we are getting biphasic response because beta 1 present on heart beta 2 present on blood vessel so immediate rise in blood pressure immediate rise due to increased the dose now we will take the normal baseline for 30 second and this is your experiment if you want to stop you can stop here and we go to table so what you get so these are the different different uh, results after addition of adrenaline and acetylcholine on isolated and perfused frog heart so if we discuss about the adrenaline when we add 0.1 ml this column is for heart rate this is the amplitude and this is the tone after addition of 0.1 ml 0.2 ml 0.3 ml there is continue rise in heart rate but when you add the highest dose of or the you can say the maximum dose of adrenaline what you get you stop in systole in all these cases the amplitude and tone is increased same in the case of acetylcholine when you increase the dose you will get the lower down the heart rate but when you maximize or you add the maximum dose of acetylcholine the diastole is stop due to receptor desensitization 
amplitude and tone is also decrease so this was all about the experiments and the addition of adrenaline and acetylcholine on isolated and perfuse heart preparations by this software we perform this and in our part 1 we already discuss about the objective apparatus experiment animals and drugs to be studies students you can follow or you can see our previous video related to part 1 this is about the complete experimental setup already discussed the parameter that we will study with different different chemicals and the drugs the observations about the drugs these are the reference books experimental pharmacology fundamental of experimental pharmacology practical manual of experimental and clinical pharmacology thank you so much dear students your suggestions and your uh, further details are always welcome and in our next video we will discuss about the other chemicals and the drugs on isolated frog heart so be continue thank you so much